The show is Blackish. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays, 9 Eastern on ABC. Also, an animated film, Ferdinand, opens in theaters December 15th. Anthony Anderson joins us. All right, let's get the serious stuff out of the way. Please. The name Blackish. When did somebody first come up with Blackish? Uh, in, in a meeting that I had with my partner, Kenya, who actually created the show okay. five years ago. Five years ago. Mm -hmm, five okay. years ago. Okay. Fritzy, when did you say that you were Jew-ish? Because that's where this came from, man. You know, Ooh. you see where I'm going here? It seems Ooh. like it was right around that time. So he's Ooh. not he's not fully Jewish. He's Jewish. Uh. So somebody said black-ish, Anthony. Uh. <laughs> I, I, I remember I remember Dan asking me a question about four or five years ago. He goes, are you, are you going to synagogue for the high holy days? I go, yeah. He goes, do you go every week to a temple? I go, no. Just basically on, you know, the main holidays will go. So, and then I said something along the lines of, I guess that makes me Jewish. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, blackish is created. Yeah. 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 Have you people look into that, man? <laughs> Have oh, you people look into that? I don't think you want his people looking into it. <laughs> yes, Paul. Anthony, you could be a mogul. How about a spinoff? Jew ish? Come on, we got it. I'm already being accused of stealing the name. It's already done. Well, can you steal, can you sample in TV? No, you can't. Is it called stealing? Yeah, yeah, it's just called straight out stealing. I, I owe you for a tea. We, we're wrapped. We're wrapped. Did that name almost not happen? Was there any concern that it was network TV that, you know, that the studios or executives got into it? Okay, interesting question. But why wouldn't that name happen? I don't know. That, that, that's why. Just, that's a what, PC, that's, just PC culture. Yeah, I know. That's, that's what I like to ask because there, there, uh, there was a, uh, people were, were in a little uproar about the name. Uh, and, and I didn't understand why. Uh, but we were always going to keep that name. And we thought maybe we might have had a fight with uh, ABC because after they purchased the project and we were developing it, they never referred to it as blackish after that moment. Ooh. They, uh, it, you know, my, my parking spot had a plaque on it. And every email that uh, came to us with notes about the show said the untitled Anthony Anderson project. <laughs> <laughs> After they bought Black, it's not one time did they ever refer to it as that. And uh, we thought we were going to have to have a fight about that. And so we were just trying to pick our fights because we knew we wanted this one. And uh, when, when the sh we made our pilot and they, they decided to pick the show up, they said, by the way, we're going to keep the name. Yeah. But you understand, though, everybody has a problem with everything now. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody's nervous in network TV. Now, if this was on Netflix or Amazon or Hulu, no one would care. No. Not at all. But network TV, then it feels like, wait a minute, are they allowed to say that? Yeah, yeah. And and I don't know if you get more people curious because of the name that they'll watch because of the name. I don't know if they have market studies focused. Well, possibly could be, but you know, yeah, it, it was never a marketing ploy or a marketing tool for us. This this is what uh, this is what our show was called, and and you look at it now, and it couldn't be called anything else. What were we going to call it? The Johnsons. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm going to watch the Johnsons on Tuesday. I don't know. I'm going to go watch Blackish. <laughs> what was your first paid acting job? My first, pay oh man. For, okay, my first paid acting gig, I was a, a mascot for a gourmet dessert delivery company mm -hmm. while I was in college. And I, uh, I had to act as a mascot. And, and my mascot uniform was a pair of glitter, uh, Chuck Taylor, All Stars, High Top. Uh, some black dance tights, uh, glitter gloves, a glitter Lone Ranger mask, and a pink cape that on the back said Captain Cravings. <laughs> First paid acting gig. But is that where you brag, hey, I'm an actor? <laughs> you just don't tell them what <laughs> you You don't going. tell anybody no, about that one. No. Yeah. <laughs> grand yeah. open, grand closing. <laughs> Nobody knows about that one. What's the coolest job you ever had? The coolest job I've ever had uh, doing what I'm doing right now is Andre Johnson on Blackish. Yeah, because uh, I get to tell personal stories every, every week. Now, you know, not just mine, but, uh, but you know, all, all of ours. You know, our, we have a, a remarkable writing staff and just the things that we get to talk about and do on, on that show. Uh, you were on The Shield? You did yes. a couple of years? Yes. <laughs> two An seasons? Antoine Mitchell, two seasons, yeah. yeah. How, how intense was that? Man, I think... I, I, for me, I thought that was some of the best work that I had done as an actor on, on that show. Uh, one, it got pretty intense there. Yeah, <laughs> there were some scenes that were uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Two, two reasons. One, 
uh, I was working opposite Glenn Close and Michael Chiklis my first season. And two, I kind of had something to prove as, as an actor that, you know, you know, Hollywood can be myopic in their thinking at times. And if you do something well, that's all they see you as. And I had done the majority of my work as, uh, as a comedic actor. So I had something to prove uh, with, with going uh, that dark. Comedian you liked growing up with who? Uh, oh, wow. Moms Mabley, Red Fox, uh, you know, Richard Pryor, uh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. But was there something you saw and you go, I, that's what I want to do? There's usually a moment where you go, you know what? Uh, you, you know, my moment, um, you know, watching my mother. My mother's a, a horrible actress. And, uh, <laughs> and she knows it. Is she a paid she, she's horrible a, actress? Now, now she is because I pay her. Because <laughs> uh, nobody else wanted to in, in 45 plus years. But no, my, I, I remember there was only three things I wanted to do uh, as a kid. Uh, I wanted to play football for the Dallas Cowboys, be a lawyer, or be an actor. And at the age of nine, I realized that if I became an actor, I could become all three of those things and everything else I wanted to be in life. And I was in the back of Compton Community College uh, Theater. Uh, I'm the oldest uh, of my siblings, so it was just three boys at the time. It was me and my two brothers in the back, and my mother was on stage doing a production of A Raisin in the Sun. And I looked up and said, that's what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That Wait, was okay, moment. so you were a Cowboy fan, but now you're a Raider fan. Yeah, you know, hey, man, I grew up in, in, in the 70s, man. You know, that was America's team back then. Uh, so yeah, but the I Raiders was, were still pretty good back then. Yeah, yeah, they were. But for some reason, as a kid, my, my dad's from Little Rock, Arkansas. Dallas was his team. So you know, I grew up with you know uh, that star in the house. And then I found my team, oh, which okay. was was the Raiders. Uh, who did we have? Was it Ice Cube? When I said, "How would it go over if I went into Compton?" and and Cube goes. It'd be cool. Yeah, Brothers yeah. got cable. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Brothers got cable. <laughs> You'll be all right. Are you sure? Yeah, come on. The dead ends would be good, too. Everybody be Wait, great. Jewish can go in there. <laughs> Fritzy goes in there. Fritzy, come on. We got a couple of neighborhoods, especially for him. Let's do it. <laughs> Favorite cowboy growing up? Favorite cowboy growing up? Too Tall Jones. Because I have no, I just, I just <laughs> loved his name. It is a great name. Yeah, yeah. But they had great Jones. nicknames back then. Baseball, like, yeah. they, remember the, when nicknames were nicknames, yeah. not a derivative it, of your name. Exactly. Like exactly. The Doomsday defense, the Steel Curtain, the Purple People Eaters. Yeah, yeah. That was no, nothing like it, man. No, that was yeah, great stuff. Times of chance was good old days. And you became a Clipper fan, not a Laker apologist. <laughs> How that happened? You know what? Um... I was, I, I'm, a, I'm a sports fan. Let me say that first. I'm a sports fan, and I have friends that play on certain teams. So I grew up a Laker fan, uh, and then the, the Laker organization became unfamiliar to me. I, you know, I, I, I didn't recognize the team, and I stuck with them for a while. And then I had season tickets for the Lakers and the Clippers one year. And then I just my affinity for the Clippers uh, uh, just started to grow a little bit more. Who are your friends? Who are my friends? I don't name drop like that, Dan. I don't, I don't Just know. Just give me I one. Know. Chris Paul. Chris Paul? Okay. Yeah. Is he going to play again anytime soon? I hope so, man. I mean, he's no longer a clipper, but uh, I, I, w I wish him health, man. Yeah, you wish you, you don't ever want to see an athlete go down and, and not play well. Yeah, again. but if he comes back and play when he plays the Clippers, mm -hmm. who are you rooting for? I got to root for my Clippers. Okay. You want Chris to do well. I want him to do well, But you want the Clippers to win. To, yeah, need, yeah. And, and the Clippers need a win right about now. Um, what do you think of uh, Balmer as a dancer? I don't, how, how, <laughs> like if you look, if you look at your owner, you look at your owner over there dancing. What do you think when you see Steve Ballmer dance? <laughs> if you had as much coin as Steve <laughs> when you dance, however you wanted to dance, dog. <laughs> uh, how is LeBron as an actor? He's train okay, wreck? man. No, train... I'm not gonna say a train. No, he's all right. No, no, no. The movie train wreck. Oh, train wreck. Oh, I thought you said he was, <laughs> no, he's no, a train wreck. No, no. <laughs> Anthony Anderson says LeBron James train wreck. That's what I heard right <laughs> That's there. That's what I said. <laughs> no, he, he's good, man. He was good in he's train good. wreck. And, and and honest in his work, man. It, 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 it was refreshing to see. Is there an athlete who you think could be a, a great actor? Uh. A lot of these cats uh, could be good. I don't. I don't know, man. No, Charles Barkley. He, you he, said athlete. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. No, you, wow. You, you did say athlete. Wow. You said athlete. former athlete. Yeah. <laughs> but but is Charles acting now? 
Or is Charles just being no, Charles? No, Charles is just being Charles. Charles I don't think he can be anything Charles. else. He can't be anything and, else and it, but like that. Harrison Ford is Harrison Ford in every movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't yeah. change. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> right? <laughs> but he's a damn good Harrison Ford. Um, the story that you pushed on Blackish that they said, no, you can't do it. Uh, oh, wow. They haven't, man. Did you see the season opening? We, we did a slave episode of it. You know, they, we, we, we've, we've, we've done some, some good things. No, they haven't said no to anything. Has, has Netflix, Hulu, Amazon opened the doors a little more for network to allow a little more, a little more creativity? Or do you think it's still by the book? Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think network television is is by the book mainstream, but and 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 saying that it it still grows, it, it still grows with, with the culture uh, and and with society, uh, because we're pushing the envelope and and broad not not us in general on our show, but as actors and entertainers, the the, the envelope continues to get pushed in, in broadcast cast television. So yeah, it, it's it's expanding and growing with us. The animated movie Ferdinand that opens uh, December fifteenth. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. What, December fifteenth. And what role do you play here? Uh, I play Bones, the, the skinny uh, bull the, the, that nobody wants. Nobody so, wants a skinny bull. So Ferdinand the bull. Yeah, Ferdinand the bull, played by John Cena, and you got me playing Bones, and we're best friends. <laughs> Cena is a talented. Talented guy. Uh huh. He's a talented he is. dude. Yeah. He is. He, he is. Could you ever get in the ring with him? Could I ever get in the ring with him? I, yeah, I could. I could run for a fast for a while, <laughs> yeah. brother. You got to catch me first. Were, were you a WWE WWF guy? WWF. You were. I go back to uh, days of George the Animal Steel, 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 Jimmy Superfly Snooker. You know, Andre the Giant. I loved, I, like, Andre the Giant just fascinated me. And then you, I think there's a 30 for 30, or Bill Simmons is going to do a film on Andre the Giant, mm -hmm. of just, like, his diet, like, how much he ate, how oh, much yeah. he drank. Like, you drink a case of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. If you were that big, wouldn't you drink a case of beer? At least. Yeah. At least. And it's not like you go, you know, is this show? I'm putting on a little weight here. I mean, right. he, he weighed 450 pounds there. Yeah, and, and that was still considered light. That was still, <laughs> but we got to watch what we eat, man. And, and that's what brings me to New York uh, right now, you know, talking about, uh, there's no secret that I'm a type 2 diabetic. Uh, so we talk about that on, on our show, Blackish, my character Dre being diagnosed uh, as, as a type 2 diabetic. So we've uh, did an integration and a partnership with Novo Nordisk. Uh, first integration of its of its kind like that to deal with an issue like this with, with its lead character. And so we've come up with a campaign, GetRealAboutDiabetes.com, that people can go to uh, to learn how to manage their, their disease, what to look out for, and, and how to take care of themselves. And there's a Facebook page, and uh, so we're here just to spread the word right now about that. Cool. Give us uh, that address again if people have more, uh, want Get more GetRealAboutDiabetes.com. Yeah, and, 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 and you can go on Facebook and do the same thing. Get real about diabetes. And keep an eye out on the spinoff to Blackish called Jewish. He's Anthony <laughs> Anderson. <laughs> can, I get, uh, can I get an executive producer credit? You got it. We're, we're partnership, baby. We're partnership. I, I think we could sell this. I think we could sell this. Because if not, Tyler Perry on line one. Get Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler Perry can make anything, right? Tyler Perry can make anything. He has a following to make anything, man. I yeah. got yeah, Medea, Medea and Jewish. Somehow we make that work here for He's on hold. What should I tell him? <laughs> yeah, let me know. I'll wait till Anthony leaves wait, the room. Can you wait till I leave the studio. <laughs> uh, the movie Ferdinand in theaters December fifteenth. Uh, Blackish Tuesday nine Eastern on ABC, and the diabetes website is getrealaboutdiabetes.com. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Great to have you. Thanks for having me. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.